Hello Hoopa, Yahi the Madison, and today we are here to start our 90 day language learning challenge where within these 90 days we will be learning the language of Sweden, aka Swedish. Um, that is the language I decided to learn and um, I'm going to do a 90 day challenge. So yeah, what inspired me to do this? Well, I recently graduated from high school and I am taking a gap year or a few gap months to figure out what I want to do with my life. And I've got the language learning itch, the bug, so to say. And so I'm going to spend the next 90 days, it's October 1st, so the next 90 days learning Swedish and seeing how much I can improve within these 90 days, treating it like a part-time job. I do currently have a part-time job at a library. The hours are not super consistent. There are some days where they're different than the previous week. So we're going to have to kind of like plan my day around my work schedule, but I'm going to treat learning Swedish as if it was another part-time job and we're going to see how far I go. Along with this journey is my friend Megan and we are, she's going to be learning Korean in these 90 days and we're just going to have some fun with it and see, like I said, see how we get how far we go and um, hopefully by the end of this I'll be able to have a three to five minute video posted all in Swedish. That's a hefty goal but I'm excited to learn and we're just going to see it. So let's start off with some things I got. So today I actually had to go out of town and so we stopped at Walmart out of town and I got myself some goodies because I can't help myself. We came in right by the stationery section. I'm sorry, who doesn't stop at the stationery section? So I got a few things. First thing I got was this because uh, I've never seen these in my small town. It is an instant office and it has um, some stickies, some adhesive, a stapler, scissors that fold down into the size of a pen, and then a one in, th a one in three in one writing utensil, whatever. I don't. I don't really know, but this is it. Well, I guess we'll find out what is in here. Um, I think I see white out, so that's good. <laughs> I don't have any of that. And then I got two notebooks. I originally was going to use a five subject notebook, but I don't really like the way it feels to write in it, so I'm not going to use that. Instead, I'm going to use one of these. I got this pink one, which is super pretty, and then this one, and this one kind of looks like the Swedish flag a little bit down here so I'm going to use this one to learn Swedish and I'm excited I'll need more than this notebook probably but we'll start small and then I just I this is they're just too cute they're just too cute so this is my notebook for the month uh, or three months apologies and then let's start off with let's go into the resources I plan to use so, for these 90 days, I have a list of different resources, apps, books, listening formats. The thing is, Swedish is, there's not, there's not a lot of resources to use and help you improve your Swedish from an inter, from a beginner to a advanced, right? There's not many for even beginners, advanced, I don't, there's not many. So I just kind of grabbed all of them that I could find and I put them in a list and we'll see how it goes. So I have everything on my Notion language learning thing, but um, I have a few that I am absolutely going to use and I'm so excited for. I'm going to be using Link, which is of course created by Steve Kaufman. I've done 20 links on this because it's all you can do for free and I, it seems like a nice app, so I'm going to use it. And then I'm also going to be using Say It in Swedish by Joachim Andersen, I believe is his last name. Um, this is an entire entirely free resource to learn Swedish and then I bought the book as well that accompanies it. It's like a grammar, I'm sorry, a book of revelations and I don't know, I don't know what to expect but I have this as well. And then the other book I have is this complete Swedish guide aka 
the only real book you can use to learn Swedish. <laughs> There's not a lot, guys, okay? There's not uh, a lot, um, at least that an American can get access to. But I'm really excited to use the State in Swedish course because I did the absolute beginner course in August just to make sure I knew everything, and it seems like it's extremely, extremely well done, and um, it's free, so why not? Some other things I'm going to look at using is the Swedish Pod 101. I don't really know how much you get for free on that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there. I'm also going to be using Clothes Master later further into this challenge because it's for more like B2, B1 level or A2 level, so I'm gonna use that. And um, I will eventually be using Duolingo because why the heck not? Just because so many resources. I don't care if Duolingo is not that good. If I want to know how to say death, there's one way to get it. Duolingo, okay? If I want to learn how to say somebody kill somebody, Duolingo's got me covered. So, there's that. Anyway, without further ado, it is 6, uh, 6 11 and I'm at my desk, and I'm just going to load up Link and start learning Swedish. So, let's get into it. Okay, so for this, I've thought long and hard on this, but if I want to get to the utmost level of fluency that one can, and I don't know if this really affects what they give you to learn, but boom. And I did create a new account so that I could start fresh in these 90 months because if I didn't, my old account with the 20, the 20 little links would be like August. September, and then October, November, December, just, you know what I mean? So I started fresh. I just did an hour of link getting used to and stuff like that and I definitely filled my brain with a lot of new words so we're gonna have to kind of see how much I remember by tomorrow <laughs> and this hour of link might have to drop off but this is kind of what it looks like so far I did these first three like introductions on how to use link just because I they started it for me without my consent and now I have I want to finish it so, I did that, and then I did these two. I already did this one with my practice with how to use Link, so I knew those ones, um, and then I did this one as well. So, yeah, um, and then I did take some notes. I didn't take many notes because, honestly, I don't really know if, like, it's, like, trustful and, like, useful and, you know, but... Yeah, so on this page I have Mayad, which is what I learned from Pimsleur with, but apparently... Uh, link says it, as an adjective it can be to and along or as a preposition it can be of, with, at, and by. I don't know when and the appropriate places to use those would be but I have those and then I kind of just wrote down n words so verbs that become n with the and then I did the same thing but with uh, words as well and there's only one word on each of these pages just because I kind of noticed it like that and I don't want to really like memorize them and be wrong if I am not correct but like something I noticed with lekyon is that it has a lot of different forms and I don't really know why it has so many forms and when is the appropriate place to use them so I think that means it's a great time to pull out my Lingom Guide to Swedish by Joachim Anders. Look at that, Anderson. Perfect. And just kind of do a little bit of reading. I'm going to read the foreword, and then I'm going to maybe read some of the things. I'm going to highlight and take notes in my Swedish notebook when necessary. So, let's see how this goes. This thing is going to probably be a lifesaver, no doubt, but, like, I just did points one 
through five and it's so difficult for me not to try and take notes on everything. I feel like I need to like sit down and take notes on everything. And also I did take notes on everything for the first five points and it looks like this, very nice. But I don't, I, I don't want to do that the entire time because I, like, I feel like notes are like kind of good but if you never look back and use them, they're not very good. And it's also all in this book. This is a book of notes, right? But I don't know. I'm excited to kind of like get deeper into this because I just learned about N and H words, so I was correct. You know what? Good job. Um, but I, they didn't really tell me like a lot about them. I don't know if we're gonna get more on that later, but it just kind of was like when you use them and how you, like you can kind of tell when you use them. And so I'm definitely going to review that and see if I can find ways to review that because definitely something you need to know like how do you use an et when you do when do you do et um not like the verb but like infinitives are um the version of an a or an so it kind of tells you that but then you put a, the a suffix at the end for the version of the and so i need to like review that and kind of see if i can like make like a worksheet or something for myself kind of like to help remember so we're going to see and do that I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I found out that this was not white out. It's tape. And it's like super cool tape. It's the tape you used to kind of like stick the stuff together. But I needed the white out and I didn't have it. So, whoopsies. And this, this is my scissors. This thing is so stinking cool. I, I really love it, okay? Totally recommend this. Unless you thought you were going to get white out. Because you're not. Um, but... My videos are so chaotic. I swear, I swear, I swear. I was going, I'm going to do like a daily checklist for everything. And so I can kind of just like check stuff off and get that sense of accomplishment. So I'm going to check that off and then I'm going to do some memorize and then I'm going to add some words to my Anki deck. None of the words I learned today on Link I'm going to add to Anki. I actually need to go through my notes from when I did um, the absolute beginner state in Swedish courses. I need to go through and add those into Anki. They've been there for a month and they're still there. So obviously I need to do it. Um, and then yeah, so uh, let's go do some of that before bed. And if you want an update on Megan, let me just tell you that she is currently working on the writing system and we're kind of like texting back and forth and she's like working on some of the writing systems and stuff like that. So that's her, that's a little update on her. Finally, I have completed the things I set out to do today, and um, three hours a day is a lot more than I, for some reason, thought it was going to be. Like, I know what three hours means, but <laughs> I did not know about this. Um, maybe tomorrow I'm going to split it up more, but I went out of town today, so I couldn't really split it up more. But, yeah, this is going to be the end of this vlog because I'm pretty sure it's kind of long um, for it being literally just three hours in a vlog. <laughs> but I'm tired. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to watch an episode of something in Swedish today, but my mind is like, nay, it's not going to work. Det är jobbar inte. Det är whatever it is I don't even know if they use yobar which is to work for like my mind's not working I don't know we're not that far I guess we'll find out but yeah I'm gonna go love you so much thanks for watching this video and uh if you want to join hey you're just a day behind so feel free oh and hey don't forget I'm still freaking bulldozer okay bye bye